Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon movesets video. Today's video is going to be all about Dugong, a Pokemon I've almost never seen be used before in a competitive battle. So let's start this off by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, abilities, and stats. So to start things off, Dugong is a water ice type Pokemon introduced in a generation 1, and is in possession of three abilities, the first of which being Thick Fat which gives this Pokemon an additional resistance to both ice and fire type moves. Next, it also has access to the Hydration ability, which is an ability that makes it so that this Pokemon gets rid of any statuses it is inflicted with while rain is up on the battlefield, which is perfect for allowing this Pokemon to obviously not be affected by status and also abuse rest while rain is on the battlefield because as soon as you heal up to full after you go for rest, the rest and sleep status will be completely gotten rid of as long as rain is still on the field with the hydration ability. And lastly, this Pokemon has access to Ice Body as its hidden ability, which makes it so that this Pokemon recovers additional HP at the end of every turn as long as Hail is on the field, which works incredibly well for passive recovery if you're using this along with leftovers. But for its stats, Dugong has some pretty average to below average stats across the board, with base 90 HP, 70 attack, 80 defense, 70 special attack, 95 special defense, and 70 speed, meaning that it doesn't quite excel at anything, but it also doesn't quite suck at anything either. But the cool thing to note about this Pokemon is that it does have a lot of variety in its moves and can run a variety of movesets as a result of that. So with that, let's take a look at the first moveset that I have for you in this video. So for this first moveset, we're going to begin by running Dugong as a Perish Trapper. So we're going to start this one off by giving it an impish nature to increase its physical defense but lower its special attack, or a bold nature to increase its physical defense but lower its physical attack. And this is really largely dependent on whether you want to go with Waterfall or Ice Beam as your actual attacking option on the set outside of your Perish Trap setup that we're going to be running. So Waterfall would go with the impish nature, whereas Ice Beam would go with the bold nature. But for the ability, we're going to be going with Thick Fat because we really don't gain any benefit from Hydration or Ice Body on the set and that added extra resistance to ice and fire type moves is always welcome. As for the EVs, we're going to put 248 into its HP, 132 into its defense, and 128 into its special defense to give it some well-rounded mixed bulk, as we're probably going to be having to take hits from both physical and special attackers to allow this set to work. And to augment our survivability a little bit more, we're also going to be running leftovers as the item to allow this Pokemon to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every turn. But for the moves, the Perish Trap setup that we're going to be running is Whirlpool to trap our opponents, Perish Song to obviously put that three turn countdown timer on both you and your opponent, and then running Protect as well to basically stall out those turns while Perish Song is active until you're then able to switch out safely, whereas your opponent cannot because they're trapped by Whirlpool, thus taking them down at the end of the turn. Another cool little thing about the set too is if your opponent decides to switch in something on Dugong that is packing a super effective move after you've already gone for Whirlpool and trapped them, Obviously, you're not going to be able to Perish Song successfully because you're going to die in the process of taking that super effective hit. So you can at least protect for just one turn to get some additional residual damage at the end of the turn because of the Whirlpool being active. But as mentioned before, along with this, we're going to be running Waterfall or Ice Beam. Waterfall can be very useful for that chance to flinch, which could potentially stall out another turn of the Perish Song if you get it to happen. But Ice Beam is also a really good coverage option as well, just because it gives you some strong Ice type special attack to work with when using the set if you aren't able to just perish trap everything that you're up against on your opponent's team. As for the next two sets, we're going to be running Dugong as a weather support Pokemon. So in this first one that I'm showing you right here, this is the rain support variant, which is going to begin by giving Dugong a careful nature to increase its special defense but lower its special attack. And for the ability, this time we're going with hydration to work in combination with rain, allowing us to not be hindered by any statuses we are receiving because at the end of the turn they will be completely removed under the effects of rain. But for the EVs on this set, we're actually just going to run a fully specially defensive Dugong with 248 HP EVs, 252 special defense EVs, and 8 speed EVs just to make it a little bit faster than other things that it might speed tie with normally. And the reason we're doing this is because this Pokemon does have a significantly higher special defense stat than it does its physical defense stat, and running mixed defense on a set like this one I don't think is as effective as it would be on the previous set, so knowing that Dugong is going to be able to take special hits really well is just something that will work really well for your team, gaining the benefits of the rain which you're going to be setting up through the first move on the set in the form of Rain Dance. 
Along with this then, we're going to be making use of Waterfall as our main water type attack. And this is also going to be boosted by Rain, which is going to be fantastic for us because it'll allow us to potentially deal a little bit more damage than we normally would. We're also going to run Toxic on this set to allow Dugong the ability to slowly wear opponents down, which is also going to work incredibly well along with our last move on the set, which is going to be Rest, as a way to allow Dugong to regain all of its health, be put to sleep, but then be rid of its sleep status as a result of Rain being up on the battlefield. And to augment the, this set further, we can run either Leftovers to allow us to recover some HP at the end of every turn, or a Damp Rock to extend the turns of Rain that we're setting up from 5 to 8, which can benefit both you and your teammates for a longer period of time. And this works incredibly well together. You can run this to stall out opponents through Toxic and Rest, or you can just run it to support your teammates that can benefit from Rain as well. So there's a lot of variety in what this set is capable of. Similarly, we can also run a Hail Support set, as mentioned previously, and we can start this one off by running either a Careful Nature to increase your special defense but lower your special attack, or a Calm Nature to increase your special defense and lower your physical attack, and I will talk a little bit more about that in a second. But for the ability, since we're running Hail this time, we're going to want to go with Ice Body as a way to allow Dugong to regain extra HP at the end of every turn, which is going to be really useful for allowing this Pokemon to have some sustain throughout the battle, because unlike on the previous set where we can abuse Rest and Hydration, this one we don't really have that option, so any way to get added recovery to keep Dugong alive longer is going to be really useful. But again, we're going to go with the same EV spread as before, but because this is the Hail Support variant, our first move is going to be Hail to set that up for our team to gain all the benefits that Hail would provide, activate our own Ice Body, and then also allow us to have access to a 100% accurate Blizzard, which is one of the main attacking options on this set. Additionally though, you also still can run Waterfall just for that flinch chance and obviously to just have water coverage, but Blizzard is going to probably be the more powerful option in the long run, but both options are still there for you to potentially choose from. But again, we're going to be making use of Toxic like on the previous set for that added ability to slowly wear down opponents, and this is going to be even more effective on this particular set because of the fact that Hail is also going to be slowly t chipping away at your opponent's health as well. So Hail plus Toxic damage will be slowly racking up over the course of the battle, which is really useful for allowing Dugong to get some useful chip damage on its opponents. And then we're going to be running Protect on this set as well to again stall for more Hail and Toxic damage, and also work in combination with Ice Body to give us some added recovery when we use this. For the item though, again we can run Leftovers, which in combination with Ice Body and Protect will allow you to recover 25% of your HP every other turn, which is pretty sweet. Um, but the other option as well is to run the Icy Rock to allow you to extend the turns of Hail from 5 to 8, like previously on the other set with the Damp Rock, which could then benefit your team for a longer period of time if you're running a Hail-based team. Up next, I have a set for you that focuses on using Dugong a little bit more offensively, mainly using the many priority moves that this Pokemon has access to. So we're going to start this one off by giving it an Adamant Nature to increase its physical attack but lower its special attack, and then going with the Thick Fat ability and an EV spread that maximizes our physical attack with 252 EVs into that, and then also putting 248 EVs into your HP and the remainder 8 into your special defense just for some added bulk while you attack your opponents. But for the moves, the first one that we have on this set is Fake Out, which is a priority move that you can only use the first turn you are out on the battlefield, but it will always cause your opponent to flinch, which is really useful in allowing you to get some nice chip damage when you bring this Pokemon in. Then we're going to make use of Aqua Jet and Ice Shard to be your main priority stab options, Aqua Jet being the 40 power water type move, whereas Ice Shard is the 40 power ice type move. And both of these make this Pokemon an amazing revenge killer if you are bringing your opponents down to a low range of health, because you have the initial fake out the first turn you come in, and then you could, if you haven't taken it out already, go for either Aqua Jet or Ice Shard on the following turn. For some added type coverage though, because this Pokemon does need an additional way of dealing with some opponents, Drill Run is also going to be the last move that we run on the set for that added ground type coverage, which is very useful for this Pokemon, and also a little bit more of a powerful move that also has a chance to critically hit our opponents a little bit more often than some other attacks that we're running. But for the item on the set, there are quite a few options, the first being a Life Orb just to boost the power of all of your attacks considerably, also keeping in mind that Dugong is not the strongest Pokemon by any means, so this can be very useful to augment your damage output. We could also run a Silk Scarf to increase the power of Fake Out quite a bit, because this will be boosting the power of normal type moves, 
and because we're almost always going to be using Fake Out the first time we bring in Dugong, that added power is going to be very useful without the negative health drawback that we get with a Life Orb. But for the last option, we could also run Leftovers, which can be very useful for this Pokemon to gain some health at the end of every turn. Because it is an Ice type, being weak to Stealth Rock, you may not have as many opportunities to switch in if rocks are up on the battlefield without running the leftovers item. So this can keep your sustain throughout the battle, allowing you to switch in many times and hit enemies hard with your priority attacks. And finally, for the last moveset of this video, we're going to be running Dugong as a special attacker under the effects of Hail or Rain. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a modest nature to increase its special attack but lower its physical attack, or a timid nature to increase its speed but lower its physical attack. And for the ability, going with either Ice Body or Hydration, if you choose to use Dugong under the effects of Hail or Rain. For the EVs though, it's going to be the same regardless with 4 Defense EVs, 252 Special Attack EVs, and 252 Speed EVs to max up both your Special Attack and your Speed. And your first move on this set is either going to be Hail for the Hail variant, or Rain Dance for the Rain variant of this set. But it's also important to note before I get to the other moves, that for the item options, we're going to be going either with ICMZ or Water EMZ to work in combination with the weather setting move. ICMZ obviously working with hail to simultaneously set the hail up and also give you a plus one speed boost which will be essential for allowing Dugong to outspeed many, many other Pokemon that it will be up against. Or going with Water EMZ for the Rain Dance variant to increase your speed by one stage while you set up rain. The other, cool two, or the other cool thing about these two items, though, is you can also just use these with the attacks we're running on the set, which is either going to be Blizzard for the Hail variant or Ice Beam for the Rain variant, and Surf for both variants of the set, to give you basically a super powerful move of those types. So it doesn't actually have to be used for the weather setting, it is an added benefit of using these items, but it doesn't have to be as you can use it to fire off a really powerful attack otherwise. But for your last move slot, we're going to be running Hidden Power Electric as a way to give us some electric type attack coverage to specifically allow Dugong an easier time dealing with opposing water type Pokemon that resist your dual stab. Or we could possibly run Rest on the set to work in combination with the Rain variant because of Hydration, obviously getting rid of the sleep status after we use Rest. And this is also where possibly running a Life Orb could come into play here as your item option because when going with Rest, you get the added benefits of obviously recovering all your health, including the life orb recoil you might be inflicting upon yourself, which could be a useful option here to give Dugong a little bit more damage output at the cost of obviously sacrificing that speed boost that you would get from either Water EMZ or ICMZ. But no matter how you run it, Dugong can be a very effective attacker in both hail and rain. But that is it for this video, everybody. So thank you all for watching. I was really excited to see so many people come back and watch my Typhlosion video that I uploaded the other day. So it's great to know that I still have your support even though, you know, taking like a six month hiatus. So thank you all as always, and as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.